I'm here with top San Bernardino County criminal defense attorney, Michael Scafidi. And Mike, I want to ask you about house arrest uh, in San Bernardino County. And I know that uh, sometimes when people get uh, sentenced to do county jail time, and uh, we all know that West Valley and, and all the jail, local jails are horrible places to, you know, to, to be inside ever to spend the night. Um, this is an alternative, right, in some cases? No, it is. And especially nowadays with the jails being so overcrowded, mm -hmm. the courts are looking for alternatives to straight jail time. Uh, for example, work release. Mm -hmm. And also, house arrest. In San Diego County, the courts will not specifically order you to electronic monitoring, also known as house arrest. Mm -hmm. But how the process works is, if you get the work release program, mm -hmm. you go to the San Diego County Sheriff's Department at Glen Helen Jail, mm -hmm. you present yourself with $100 cash and a photo ID, and you can ask the deputies to have you be evaluated for house arrest electronic monitoring. So, so this is all an alternative to uh, to work release. It is an alternative to work release. It is, and they'll send you uh, the inf they'll give you the information. You'll contact the um, the electronic monitoring company. You'll be evaluated quickly, and if you qualify for it, you'll go on house arrest. So you said that the judges won't order it. So does a judge have to approve it? Typically, they do not. It's a component of the work release program. So if you qualify for work release, then you can automatically at least try to qualify for, for the house arrest. That, that's correct. That's absolutely correct. And, and, and what is this? You said that the, the, basically like the house arrest company will, will evaluate you. What do they look for? What are the criteria? They're looking for, first of all, they are going to look at the charge mm -hmm. to make sure it fits within their, their, their matrix. The next thing they're looking for is how long you have to be out of your house a day. They will allow you to be out of your house for work reasons for up to 12 hours a day. Mm -hmm. You're going to need a landline number so mm -hmm. they can monitor you mm -hmm. physically with the electronic bracelet. And they'll also allow you um, with advance notice to go to doctor's appointments and things of that nature. Now, now when you say they, and, and I want to get into all these logistics, but when you say they, I mean, is this is this a governmental agency? Is it a private company? Who who, who runs this thing? It, it is a private company right now, at least through San Bernardino County. So, so the person who actually does a house arrest is going to pay the company directly? Correct. And, it, and they do do it on a sliding scale. Typically, we're seeing around $25 a day for house arrest. Now, now, let me ask you, you said that, that only certain charges qualify. So if you get convicted for certain types of crimes, you can't do it, right? Co correct. For example, if it's a misdemeanor sex offense, you may or may not qualify. First time DUI, second time DUI, typically in San Bernardino County, you will qualify for the house arrest program. So, um, so certain sex offenses, certain violent crimes... Um, you wouldn't qualify. Potentially. You'll be evaluated on a case-by-case -case basis. You'd be less likely to qualify, the, the, the more serious the crime. Correct. Now, now let, let me ask you logistically how this works. So let's say I, I, I go through this process. They qualify me. Let's say I have 60 days of jail to do, and I'm going to do it on house arrest. Um, how does it work? I mean, is this, am I going to wear a monitor? What happens? You will. First of all, there'll be an inspection of your home mm -hmm. by this company's officials. Mm -hmm. You'll then be set up for an electronic ankle bracelet, mm -hmm. which literally is exactly what it says. It's a bracelet that goes around your ankle. And, and it's, it's like fastened on, I can't remove it? Correct. It's fastened on. Or if you do try to remove it, mm -hmm. they'll be notified that you're removing it. And... and, and do I shower with this thing on? Do I sleep with this thing on? You, you can absolutely shower and bathe with it. You sleep with it on. It's on you 24 hours a day. Is it tight? I mean, is it going to restrict blood flow? or You know, and our clients that have availed themselves to the work release program, mm. I haven't had anyone complain ever that it caused physical pain or discomfort. Occasionally, we'll talk to a client who is a little embarrassed to wear it. They, mm -hmm. they, they, their pant legs rose up at work and mm -hmm. someone saw it, but never any physical problems. And if it was too tight, I imagine I could call the company, they could adjust it. Undoubtedly. Now, now what if, let, let's say I work in the courthouse or somewhere I have to go through security. I mean, is this going to, is this something that's gonna cause me embarrassment, that's gonna set off a, a lot, you know, alarms that look for metal? It, it, it would certainly set off an alarm going through a metal detector. And, and actually we've had some clients where their work did not know that mm -hmm. they had suffered a criminal conviction. And they worked on, for example, a Marine base, mm -hmm. and military facilities where there is heightened security. Mm -hmm. And it, it can be somewhat problematic for someone like that. Now, uh, if I am doing the electronic monitoring, the, the house arrest, 
Um, you said that I can go to work, I can go to doctor's appointments, things like that. Correct. And I have to get special permission in advance? You can get up to 12 hours a day to work. So they'll know your work schedule. So you won't have to call in on those days. Mm -hmm. But let's say it's a day off, mm -hmm. but you have errands to run. You can call them, in, call that in, and they'll give you permission to do those things. And they'll give you a time to come back. Like if you say, I have to run to mm -hmm. the store down the street mm -hmm. um, for groceries, but I need, I need seven hours. They're probably going to want to know why it takes seven hours to run to a grocery store. Okay, with, with that device on, can they monitor where I am? So let's say I, I tell them I'm going to uh, go run errands, you know, buy my house or go to the doctor buy my house. And let's say I, I go out with a buddy in, in another town. I mean, can they tell that I've, you know, gone too far? They, they, they can. Not typically with the electronic house arrest monitor, um, though there are co same companies offer GPS monitoring mm -hmm. where they can track people. So, so essentially, I mean, it's it's not a bad option. I mean, certainly compared with uh, you know with, with being inside of a jail, because I, I get to sleep at home, I get to stay at home, keep my job, go to work, run errands. Uh, I, I'm just limited in, in the sorts of things that I can leave my home to do. That's correct. I, I think most of our clients mm -hmm. that are in that situation, weekend work release or electronic monitoring, would prefer the electronic monitoring house arrest. The big drawback for a lot of the clients are the cost involved. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have to do 60 days times 25 bucks a day, it can get rather costly. Whereas work release here in San Bernardino County is just a one-time $100 fee. Uh, uh, with with house arrest, you're paying by the day, basically. That's correct. 